So I'm going to show you how a little workaround to get graphic overrides for your window and door type schedules. So when I'm talking about window and door type schedules, what I'm talking about is this part here, where you get a little preview of what your door or window type is going to be. Our top view right here is with no graphic overrides applied. All right, it's showing with the fill types and the lines that it has been assigned to in your door or window settings. But we can apply a graphic override to turn everything monochromatic. And that way it's a little bit easier to kind of hone in on the actual um, style of the door and not get bogged down with, well, is our trim really going to be that color type of thing? So that can be sometimes helpful at the very beginning stages of, of your design process. So within the schedule itself, so the, um, this, the little preview window is, it's, it's a schedule. And so in the settings of the actual schedule itself, there's nowhere to apply a graphic override. So we're gonna set up our schedule just like we do any other time. Um, like I said before, setting up a graphic override is similar to selecting the criteria of what's gonna be shown in the schedule. So if we take that knowledge and apply it over here, okay, we have our schedule type here, door type legends. We have told the criteria to be a door and it's not an empty door. So that means the openings, um, empty openings are not going to populate on this schedule. And down here, we say what information we want to show up on our schedule. And we just want the view from the opening side. And that's all we wanna show in the schedule. All right, and then after we say okay for our scheme settings, we're gonna be taken to this window here. And how your information is organized on here is completely up to you. Um, you can merge uniform items. So that means if you have five doors that look like this one right here, all five of those doors aren't gonna show. It's just gonna show one example of that. And then you can have them put a quantity of how many of those are there. If you didn't have merged uniform items clicked, it would show all five of the doors as a, its own individual preview. And for the easiest um, viewing of this, I always like to align my doors or windows to the bottom of the cell, okay? And then you can play around in here as you have different things selected, different options for settings pop up. So right here, I've highlighted the cells that the doors are in. Um, so, oh, excuse me. So we're gonna create a new graphic override combination. So here we're naming it the door and window type schedule, okay? So we've created a new combination here. And now we're gonna go in and create, edit, and then add our new rules, okay? So for this, I'm gonna be referring to it as the shading is turned off. That's the name of our rule. And then under the override style of that rule, we're gonna click here. We're gonna say our fill type is all gonna become background fill. Our fill foreground pen and background pen are gonna become that 91. If you remember back to our, um, our line type lesson, that 91 is kind of a universal line type that is used many times throughout ARCHICAD. That's why when we're customizing, our line types, we don't change that. So that's a very safe one that it's not gonna change as depending on what um, pen type you have chosen. Okay, so once we have that um, rule created, we go back into our graphic override combinations and we add that rule. That's the only rule we need to have on for this one. Okay, and now you have a door and window schedule. Um, 
but you can't just you can't assign the schedule a graphic override so we created a view for it to go back to um i believe it was two weeks ago when we did um our saved views so we go on our view map click create a new saved view and we're going to be saving it with the graphic override right here in our saved view settings box okay and it's important to do it here because as we're saving the view of the um, of the schedule here, we can't preview it unless we save the view first. Okay, and that's going to make more sense once we get in there. 